Tom Phillips and his three children have been missing for the last two and a half years. The kids, who Phillips does not legally have custody of, are Jada, who is now 10, Maverick is 9, and Ember, the youngest, is 8. They've been missing since December 2021 when they were taken by Phillips to an unknown location, though police believe it was in Western Waikato uh, within Marakopa or the surrounding areas. Phillips, whose last reported sighting was in August, is believed to be being aided by associates in evading capture. So police yesterday announced a $80,000 reward for information on the family uh, that could lead, would lead to their location and safe return. It's only available, it's open for two weeks until June 25. And they say, the police say it's to be, it's focusing on the safe return of the children, not the arrest of Phillips. If he turns himself in, he's not going to be a recipient of the money. Uh, police believe Phillips is still somewhere in Maruka, uh, Marukopa or the surrounding area. They send up a police helicopter. That's been searching and officers have been working through tip-offs that they have started to receive. Um, uh, Phillips was linked to a bank robbery last May. He evaded the attention of police for 19 months before he was seen shopping Wearing a disguise, he stole a car, then got into a fight with a member of the public last August. The latest incident saw him allegedly steal a bike with one of his children and smash a storefront on November the 2nd, almost two years after he and his three kids had disappeared. In the statement released this morning, police believe other people, as I said, are assisting Phillips and they're urging those people to come forward. They are reiterating they are committed to finding the kids. And I thought about this story and what about these kids? You know, they're with their dad. They are of a of an age where they've been missing now for two and a half years. He had them at such a, an important uh, age. All ages are important, but young children setting up their belief system, you know, what what is it like for them? Um, obviously, we do not know because we do not work, know where the children are or, or or what they are thinking, but I wanted to get some insight into what can happen to children who are in this kind of, um, you know, have this happen to them. It's, it's rare. Uh, Dr. Dougal Sutherland is a clinical psychologist. Uh, he has been on the platform before, so we welcome him back. Hello, Dougal. Hello, Leah. How's it going? It's it's good. It's good. I I thought about this and I wanted to have a chat to you because as I as I said, you know, you none of us can can talk about the children per se, like what they are going through. But I wanted to yeah. get your insight because am I correct in in surmising with their ages, you know, you've got an 8, a 9 and a 10 and when when Tom first took the kids, you know, go back another 2 years, how important is this are there ages? Is it is their belief system now? If this age is kind of set up for life, yeah, I think you touched on it before that it is, it's a really, as you say, any age is is, is important. But the, the age of those kids is really it's a critical time when they are developing uh, views and beliefs about themselves and about the world around them and about other people. Um, and, you know, for, for having such a long time uh, in an isolated place it, it w will definitely have an effect. Um, I, you know, mm. you can't say whether that's positive or negative, but uh, I guess lots of people think it might be negative. Um, I think also, so there's th their beliefs about themselves in the world, and there's also those other elements of childhood that they will be missing out on, particularly socialising with other kids, playing with other kids. That's a big part of childhood, is, is playing and learning and interacting with children, and all the... All, you know, learning all the social rules and the rules of life that happens when kids play at that age. And they have missed out on, or are missing out on a lot of that at present. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, I, I was thinking that, that was, I was going to ask you about that because the importance of, of, of even being around their other family members, you know, not seeing their mother or aunties or uncles or cousins, you know, only yeah. having a father figure. Who, by all accounts, you know, what he's what, bank robbery and and fighting and 
stealing, you know, is not setting a good example, we would say. Um, but, and then how important does someone in your life like that become? I mean, I don't want to say Stockholm Syndrome, but, you know, they beca- do they become your everything? Yeah, look, obviously dad will be a big, a, a huge part of the kid's world at the moment. And I, I think I think the sort of $64,000 question is mm. is what, what sort of narrative, what story has he woven about mm. why they are where they are? He'll, have, he'll obviously have had to tell them something because he'll have had yes. to explain why they, why they can't see mum and why they can't see other kids and why they have to do these things. Um, and... And I think that's the huge, for me, that's the huge question mark is how has he, what what has he told them about that? Um, because I think that's going to have a big, big impact on how they readjust to the world once they're found and about how they understand the world. Do they, you know, do, on the one hand, they could see the, it could be just sort of some sort of sense of, oh no, mum says it's okay and we're just doing this thing for the next two and a half years and, you know, there yeah. might, that, that, that's, at the, that's at the very positive end of things and I guess at the very negative it could be that, um, you know, other people are dangerous, you've got to be suspicious of the world and people are out to get us and, yes. um, and, 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 and you can, und- you can see how that would, would really have a negative impact on how those kids, came to understand the world and how they came back to reintegrate into it and how they came back to, to, to live and, 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 and get on with the rest of their family and other people in the world. How important is it, uh, Dougal, when hopefully these, these children are, are found and they'll all be different, I mean, at different ages, of course, yeah. but they, every makeup of a child is different. Do you, do you see with children that have, have gone through something... Uh, how they're affected differently, and which can also affect how they then see the world or reintegrate with the world. Can you see one of them being kind of getting back into it okay? Uh, will they band together? You know, is it, how does it work? Yeah. Yeah, look, I think it's complicated because yeah. of a number of things. Firstly, there's there's three of them. Uh, yes. and, and then the, the, the amount of time they've been away uh, and also the different l- stages of development that they have gone through during that time. Um, you know, the, the youngest, I think, was a preschooler when, when, when they went away with Dad. I think, I think that might be right. And so, right. you know, you think about the big developmental changes that, that, that kids have when they go from the age of three or four to five or six. There's huge changes that usually happen there. Um, mm-hmm. and, and I think, so I think that each of those individual kids is, is likely to have a very different... Um